Uh, yes. Make a cool pose. Is that a cool pose? All right, we're back. We're back. We're doing gold cards now. Gold, colorless, uh, yeah, gold artifacts lands. And two cards. And two cards. What the fuck are you talking about? Two cards. Two cards. Look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I count those, I count those as gold cards. Yeah. Whatever. They're gold and not. Hybrid. White and, Whatever. White and black asshole. makes gold, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, first card. What we got, Brandon? Start to finish. Go for it. Uh, for three mana, white and two. Create two, one, one, white warrior creature tokens with vigilance. And finishes black and two for, as an additional cost, sacrifice a creature, destroy target creature. All right. So again, the cards, cards work with each other. Um, this it's a slightly higher rate for uh, raising alarm, yeah. but still fine. Still instant speed for for two powers where it calls two bodies, and then you get a sweet removal spell. And they I, I like it because you don't initially go. There's not like crazy tokens besides embalm, which is basically replacing itself. Uh, you're not going super wide. And yeah, I, I, I think it's solid. I like yeah, it. I agree with that. Um, I think. Uh, you might you might not play start if you're just like white, but if you're white and black, I think this is a solid yeah, solid no, card to have in your deck. Card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a super solid card to have in your deck. Yep. Alrighty, next one. You can take this oh, highly because yeah. it does get reduced to rubble. rubble. That's true. Yeah, yeah. reduced to rubble. Right, Whatever re rubble. Reduce is two and a blue counter target spell unless it's controlled phase three. It's obviously an instant. Um, then where's rubble. My, where's my sorcery counter spell? Oh, you'll see <laughs> soon. Soon they make counter spells bad enough. They might get there. They yeah. might get there soon. Poor <laughs> uh, Rubble, two and a red aftermath. Aftermath is it's a sorcery. Untap up to. Th oh no, I'm sorry. Up to three target lands. Don't untap during next control is untap step. So the counter so, side's a bad mana leak. The counter side's a bad mana leak, and the rubble card it's not is. Bad. I love the. Three mana okay, tempo play. Yeah, three mana stop card. tempo. This is like yeah. that card that you want, like in that cycle deck, like the. But or not cycle, but, but there's Sam. cards where you dump cards from your library. Like this card, you just want to dump just for rubble. Right but away. but yeah. Sam, I love. Rubble. You can literally target the lands you tap for rubble. Where's rubble? That's true. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good strong, point. Good, strong, good point, Brandon. Strong play. Good point. I think this is. I think this is significantly worse than your. Um, your white black version of this, yeah. the last card we just talked about, but uh, it's fine. If you're in the market for a three mana counter spell, go nuts. Bad yeah, yeah, bad. Bad. If you're in the market for 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 that, go nuts. Otherwise, I don't think it's that good. Just go cancel. Yeah, yeah. just play cancel. So yeah. so now we have destined to lead. Destined to lead. Destined is black and one, and it's the same combat trick black had in the last five sets. Of it gets plus one plus zero and indestructible until end of turn. There you go. Um. Uh, and lead is green and three. All creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. All right. So for six mana, you have like uh, basically all all creatures you have besides one are unblockable, yes. and the other one is like it, it, lore effects are pretty powerful, it's, especially on indestructible what is, fucking creatures. What was that freaking uh, dragon maze cards that was super good? That was kind of like this, only a lot better. Yeah. It's like target creep armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous. Oh, yeah. 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 It's freaking like both cards were instant. It's yeah. like I give something double strike and then you have to block th block this guy. Yeah, it was yeah. double strike. It wasn't a strike. Yeah. yeah. This, uh -huh. card, this card's insane though. If you're going that gold guard, yeah. one, well, like one, neg one, neg one counter. Exactly. Right? Well, just, it, it protects the beef. Yeah. And then later on, it turns the beef into prized unicorn. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. So well, like, or, or if you want it to be, uh, hey, I just think both have these cards are very playable. Oh yeah. Like oh, yeah. save your guy from removal spell or just like a fine combat trick. Uh and and then also, like you said, the the lore effect, the, the unicorn effect. Mm -hmm. But also at a certain point in the game in your gray, black green, like big giant mid range creature decks, you can have a one one scarab and just be like, All right, you have to block this. Yeah. All the other ones attack you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Or you could just yeah. have a seven That's seven a hex proof indestructible and be like, Well, now you guys have to all jump yeah. block. Exactly. On this. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it's, 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 a it's kind of card. weird that lead is at sorcery speed, so you can't like. Trick all all the aftermath yeah. cards are sorcery speed, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, uh, solid card. Um, I don't know how I pick it. I probably pick it around fourth, fifth. Uh, but I always play. It. Mm -hmm. Always, yeah. always play. It. I mean, you definitely. In your black green card, deck, uh, in in your, in your in your in your mono black deck, I might play like a, a single yeah. copy of oh, the yeah. of that. I still play it. In yeah. Black. Exactly. Okay, Dave, you're up. All right. 
we're gonna go onward to victory. It's a uh, one red and two colorless instant speed. Target creature gets plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is its power. And then victory is the aftermath, which is a white and two colorless for target creature gains double strike until end of turn. This is one of those ones that's a real shame that this it's is a so sorcery awkward. speed. No, yes. it's really awkward. It's, it's so because awkward. if you want to do both in the same turn, you have to sorcery speed it, and then you just block. Yeah, I don't like it. Well, they like do, it, yeah. it would do real well with lead. I don't even like. Yeah. I don't even like the red as a combat trick. I really don't yeah. like it unless you have that fly. Combat lead. tricks that don't buff toughness. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then don't give like indestructible or like yeah. oh return it to the battlefield at the end of the turn if it died type things. Oh yeah. Like if it, if it doesn't actually protect it from getting, being dealt damage, then it's not that good. It's very yeah, awkward. I'm not playing this unless I have my 4-4 Indestructible Angel. Oh, yeah, and then I'm playing all of them. <laughs> yes. And and hope to God you're paired against Paul in round one. <laughs> yes. Dude, you know we're going to do that, too. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't uh, wait. It's happening. It's going happen. to happen. Yep. <laughs> okay, spring to mind. Yeah. For three mana, green and two, search your library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield tap, and shuffle your library. Mind is six mana, two blue and four, for draw two cards. Um, Spring's based cultivate. I think mine's a little bit much for it. It, cultivate, it's cultivate, but you don't get the land at hand. Uh, it's it's over cost and effect for both of them. Yeah. Staple to one to. Yeah, it's bad rampant growth and bad divination. Yeah. It's horrible um, divination. Yeah, it's, yeah. Really, it's why did, really Why bad does it divination. have to be that expensive? Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's, oh, this nuts. one's instant speed, though. Is it? It is instant on the aftermath part. Holy shit. Holy but the gosh. other one's sorcery. Yeah, that's it's really so weird. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, again, I, I was wrong about all the Aftermath cards being sorceries. I thought they all were. You blew but, uh, it. I blew it super hard. I, I don't love this card. I think the effects are too overcosted for yeah. both. Very expensive. Card. Maybe if you're really searching for value, you can... I mean, it is you just need that draw card. technically a three for one, I mean, and it costs nine fucking mana. mana. I mean, <laughs> like, you, in, in a I mean, green, green has a three, a two, two. Yeah, or color fixing, yeah. right? Because it doesn't just tutor a forest, right? No, no it's basically. Good. Good. So it's, it's, it's rampy, so yeah. if you yeah. need it. If you, you, if you need it, I imagine there's better color fixers and better ramp in this format. Oh, absolutely. But, yes. like, if, 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 as, as a must, yeah. Okay. So you're up. All right, I'm already here, so I'm going to say as. I want to read some. Okay. Prepare to fight. Nice. Sweet. All right, this one's a rare. It's really good, though. It is good, but it doesn't feel rare to me. Um, I mean, probably not very good, but it's uh, pretty solid. Two mana instant. I'm to be busted. Yeah, untapped target creature. It gets plus two, plus two, and gains life when it gets one to two. That's the effect that doesn't seem rare to me. It doesn't feel rare. It doesn't feel rare. In combination, they might do. I don't know, man. Uh, it might feel rare. Four, four, mana, exert, four right? mana, yeah. It, 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 look, it's a, it'd be a really, really good combat trick. I think, I'd say it's an uncommon level combat trick. Yes. Untapped absolutely. fight. Uh, untapped plus two, plus two, and life link. Then for four mana, you get target creature fights another creature. So in your green white decks, are, I like in, in your mono white decks, but I also really like in your green white decks is like, this is, I mean six mana, it's gonna do a lot. For oh, yeah. uh, for two, it's gonna yeah. do a lot, and then for four, it's gonna do like a like gonna, a, a solid effect. It's gonna punt them. It's yeah. gonna gain you life. Mm -hmm. It's gonna kill a creature. It's right. gonna tap your creature. Yeah, it, 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 does, it does a lot. It does, it does a lot. do a lot. I don't I think mean, it's going to see much, like, and probably won't see much standard play, it was, but I it would definitely like, first pick that if there's no good uncommons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I really uncommons. like these cards, though, because you can actually, because it's good removal, uh, you can actually do make this, like, your splash green for literally fight. Like you That's can true. Fine and, like, even, and go white that's the thing, else. like, if you don't draw your splash color and you drew this, it's like, that doesn't you feel like the worst either. Yeah, you still like, and you still, yeah, you still played your card. Yeah. I probably wouldn't splash the prepare part. <laughs> awesome. Like, I wouldn't splash this in, like, base green deck. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I can see splashing the green half, just the green also half. Also, two mana for plus two, plus two, and life one's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah, and, and untap. So, yeah, and untap. Yeah. The roughest thing, though, is you got to gauge it on combat trick. You can't gauge it on removal, so you can't first pick it. Exactly. You can't, I, I probably you wouldn't can't. first pick it in most scenarios. I think this is a solid, like... Three through five pick. Like you forget, I am bad at magic, and we'll pick cards because they're a cool combat. Yeah, yeah, true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, anything that says untap is good in this. Yeah, yeah I feel like it's pretty strong because exert is pretty strong. Yeah. Hey, because we we play in a very casual store, so like that removal might table, but 
That is true. That prepared a fight is not going to table. Nah, that's unless, true. Unless I'm in a draft pod of Nick Hammers and Richards. Yeah, that's Which accurate. Before. That's accurate. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, like I said, I think this is I I think this is uncommon the good uncommon power level. I don't think it's rare power level, but I do think it's a good uncommon, so pick it accordingly. Yeah. yeah. Um, next card. Failure to comply. Uh, one blue instant um, return target creatures. I'm re- um, sorry, return target spell to its owner's hand. So That's like, a sweet card. yeah, yeah, sort of a remand, remand type effect. I love and that. then comply is one for a sorcery. Choose a card name until your next turn. Creatures, your opponents. Yeah, I'm sorry, I keep saying creatures. Choose a card name until your next turn. Your opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name. So imagine they tap out and play like their. Like four mana spell, and you return it to your to their hand, like like remand it, yeah, and then you pay a single white, and they can't cast it next turn either. Yeah. I mean, so it buys you a lot of time. Um, it's a sweet tempo card. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd imagine that the. Uh, I mean, I'm just playing failure. Like yeah, okay, it, it, yeah I'm, I'm playing this in all my blue decks because it's a, a really solid effect. Mm-hmm. Um, Comply is okay if you cast it the next turn. Yeah. And otherwise, it's Some, a fucking crap Sometimes crapshoot. it could still be awkward because you could play it, return something, and be like, okay, that's, that's too many. And then I got second failure. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. like, I'm gonna uh-huh. Aha! You weren't expecting yeah. that, were right? you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very well, my draft pools good. are. Yeah, it's conditionally good. For both of them. My, my so sealed pool is going to be all failure to comply. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just all the rares. Oh, God, yeah. I'm going to probably get all prepared fights and be like, man, I, I pulled like so many uncommons. <laughs> I will play <laughs> all of them. <laughs> yeah. Again, I think this is more of an uncommon type feely card. Yeah. Uh, more than a rare. It'd, it'd be slightly better in a time I'd, my well, sealed pool had three good fire blades. I mean, we can unsubstantiate, which is bounce a spell. And the remand is. Is like an uncommon as well. That is true. Uh, Remand shouldn't be an uncommon. No, this is good. That one's also card too. Yeah. <laughs> it does. I love that. That one's pretty solid. Um, these things are hard to talk about. <laughs> they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they are. These cards are hard to get. We got them on both cards. Exactly. We're trying. Again, I play blue for. Sh- I play the blue half for sure. I mean, if you're playing a blue white deck, maybe you want to play the extra white to make sure like they don't have a, a solid like a a solid play the next turn. Um, yeah. but I'm I'm playing this for failure. And oh. Absolutely. You don't, I wouldn't even worry too much about the I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. Yeah. Next one. Rags to Riches. This is a good card. Uh, mm-hmm. Rags is two mana and a two for all creatures get minus two and minus two until end of turn. And Riches, they stay on me. It did. I wouldn't say sideways. Just sideways. Each opponent <laughs> chooses a creature. He or she can, controls. You can control those creatures. Yeah. So it costs seven, right? Yeah. Five and two blue. And so uh, that's two blue and uh, five, yeah. Seven minutes. Yeah, this card is so sweet for commander. So, like, this would be uh-huh. EDH Each super. Or uh, though Rags is basically a bad language. Though it could be a good language if you have all four fours and everyone has two twos. True. <laughs> True. Get rid of some tokens. Get rid of some yeah. stuff. Uh, dorks. Um, um, but you do also get for, what is it? So 11 mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 11 mana, you kill all the creatures and then take all the relevant creatures. Exactly, but. yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's that's how this card melds into each other. You kill off all their small creatures that you don't care about, and then they can only choose a bigger creature to give you. Mm-hmm. I imagine this is really good to a giant as well, since you get two things. Yeah. 11 um, mana is a lot of mana. I don't know, man. I can yeah, just, I mean, you don't have to all play it in one turn, though. I read, yeah. I read Rich is wrong. I thought it was you get to pick, like, for each opponent. No. But they get to pick. They get to pick. That can be garbage sometimes. It can be garbage sometimes. And in theory, though, you killed all their small creatures. That is true. That's, but it, that's it, where it is. It is permanent control, death. It is permanent but, control mean, for seven mana. It, it starts out four mana and then seven mana. So that gives them three turns to put out more good stuff, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's the only... So it's kind of a wonky one. Yeah, it's, it's wonky. It's wonky. Oh. Um, it, it, I think I think this is fine. This is one of your... Um, one of your like rares that I'm saying like probably like a like a mid pack pick you probably play it in your deck but you're not like slam it windmill sp- slam it first slam a jam uh, yep. last year two headed dragon a two headed giant yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. two headed giant this, that this card's is, great card's oh this next one's gonna be a two headed giant nightmare oh god yeah yeah, yeah. Cut this the, one's really strong cut the ribbons this one um one. cut is red in one for. Deals four damage to target creature. Has sorcery speed. Amazing card. Great in draft. Uh, yeah, it's a kill card. Yeah. Uh, ribbons is Path of the Titans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two black and X for each opponent loses X life. <laughs> wow! Wow! Yeah, I'm gonna lose this card. DDH super hard. Uh, yeah. Shit that hates each opponent. It's good and good and two again. Who knew? Yeah. Um, this is one of the few slams. 
Yeah. Or, like, double the two cards. Yeah, cards. I mean, I, even if Slam I'm in my base red decks, like, if I, even though I'm not playing black, I'm slamming uh, cut, likely, ahead of pretty much anything, because it's really efficient. But if you're playing black, like, it's a no joke. Like, you play, kill their guy, and then late game, kill them. This is a situation you grab it, you slam for cut, you push for ribbons. Like, you yeah. push hard for ribbons. Yeah, like, that's exactly. A great ability exactly. Yeah. yeah. Really strong card. Probably among your better split cards. I, I, I think it's the best one. It's a great card. Mm -hmm. This next one's kind of weird. What's it does? Uh, heaven, right? heaven and Earth. Oh, yeah. I remember this. It's a green and X. Heaven deals X damage to each creature with flying. And then Earth is to red and X. E it deals X damage to each creature without flying. Yep. So, so cover all your bases here. So I say it would probably be a decent sideboard card at best. <laughs> uh, I, no, I, I, here's, here's what I'm thinking. In your green red decks, because I don't think you play this, it's a sideboard card in your green decks. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in your green red decks, mm -hmm. I play it in the main deck because at worst, you can go, all right, pay one green, X equals zero. Yeah. 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 And then this effect is really strong. Yeah. It's a wrath. That is true. So, I like that. Especially if you're flying. Like Ex exactly. Red. If you're flying, mm -hmm. yeah, if you're flying in your green red deck, I don't know how you manage it. But you know what? It can happen. You have a bunch of glory bringers in your deck. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I ain't judging. Um, yeah, you're, 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 uh, yeah, I, I think Paul hit on the head when he hit this. Uh, one, the first half of it, which is, makes it awkward, is a sideboard card. The second half of it is a main deck card. Mm -hmm. But in your green red decks, it could be red, red, green, X. Deal X damage to each creature with, with that. With I that really one. like it that the heavens instant speed though, so you can so you can scrub it that's off true. on their turn. That's too. true. That's I true. like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's points. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, I think it is a cyborg card in your gruel decks, but and yeah, you know, I think you're you're really gonna. It, it, yeah, yeah, you want we, we did, and we, we, want, we want the earth, and that's right. it. That's it for the split. Cards. That's it for the split cards. We're done with the aftermath. Who wants to do Nissa? Now doing some gold cards. Who wants Whoever can do Nissa, I'll do Nissa. There you go. All right. He would. All right. Nissa is Nissa, steward of elements. Uh, she is X green blue. She has X loyalty when she comes with play. Her plus two is scry two. Her zero is look at the top card of your library. If it's a land or creature card with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of loyalty counters on Nyssa, you may put that card directly on the battle. No. Uh, That's really good. And then minus six, up to two target lay on top of the two target lands you control. They become five five elemental creatures with flying and have haste until under turn. They're still <laughs> lands. So for eight mana, uh, you just get that effect. You just ultimate. Yeah. You ultimate immediately. If and you then, want it. But then you yeah. need ten mana to actually use it. It's a, it's a scalable planeswalker. It's good. No, it's no, great. No, it's, it's minus six. Oh, uh, minus six? Yeah. yeah, so eight mana. So uh, if it was if, if X equals six, it'd be X and two blue, a green blue. Yeah. Which so, be eight. Yeah. So, uh, yes. but like. If you want to hang her around. Yeah, if you want the lands to actually do something. No, no, no. It untaps them. Uh, it untaps them. Yeah, 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 yeah. It untaps them. Yeah, yeah that, that'd be really awkward, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. this, this card is amazing. Like, okay. standard, cons I mean, uh, in constructed and in, in limited. The card's I, insane because it scales. I don't know how hard it, it, it gets there. And I, I, I do love it. I love it in draft problem, and in EDH, but I don't know about standard. My biggest problem is, like, the mana cost. is because, like, you know, three mana... Liliana, black, black, one of the veil. Yeah. And she starts out with three counters. And goes up one, to four and does something to a creature. Yeah, this one to. starts with one. One and doesn't do anything to a creature. That's yeah. why I don't love her yeah, in she, standard. Because she doesn't do a great job of protecting herself outside of like yeah. when you have giant mana. Yeah. Um, so I think she's like a much bigger X spell. In, in like limited though, yeah. if she comes in with like... If, if X equals three and then she pluses two immediately, that because she gets up to five. Yeah. Then she's good. like relatively hard to like, because yeah. she because her plus pl the fact that she plus twos yeah. makes it um makes it better makes it way better. De yeah. Definitely a limited an EDH card. I don't see her seeing much constructive play. I don't. I don't I, love once again. Standard. What the heck do I know? Yeah. I don't love <laughs> her in standard. Like, gold planeswalkers have a hard time seeing play regardless. That is true. I mean, I mean, even like really powerful ones like Nihiri. 
It, it she definitely feels like a play? control card, though. Even though she yeah, does, she's, yeah, she's a control ramp card. If yeah. she plays, she's playing standard, I imagine it's not going to be an aggressive deck. Yeah. It's going to be a new... two of them for too. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. I mm-hmm. mean, she'll probably see, like, that weird wonky standard deck that appears every once in a while. Yeah, I imagine she's going to be uh, oh, a pricey card, and you're going to slam, slam, damn, pick it, pick one, pick one. Yeah. You know? I'm going to sell it. That, that's a, and I would sell That's it. shameful promoting of your channel, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's how we do it. It's how we do it. Right? <laughs> on the pack one, pick one. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, everything. It's just like everything. Pack one, pick one. Here's a card I like. Actually, a fair amount. I, li- I like this better than this uh, in Constructed. Samut, Voice of Descent. He has Double Strike, which is a fair and balance card. It's cool. Just, well, it's like it's lady. Um, three and a red, three and red green. Flash. All right, three, four. Look at Let's all the keywords. Human War. Flash, Double Strike, Vigilance, Haste. He likes this because it almost attracts us. It's almost attracts us. <laughs> Other like creatures also have haste. Also, pay one weight <laughs> and tap it. Untap. To untap another target creature. That's so cool. That's so cool. you you flash it in, attack. Even if you, you, haste is irrelevant at that point, but haste on your other creatures. Oh you God. attack, you play an exert creature, it has haste, you attack, and then you pay and attack with both, and then pay one and untap your exert creature. Yeah, super strong. <laughs> Whoa! That's First of all, it's six power, flash, vigilance, double strike, like all of it. it like, does, it's, that's a great. It it's does so great. many things. It just I'm does dating. so much. Even if you can't get to the white, that's fine. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> We're, good. That We're doing good. How do you like this as a commander or Naya? Oh, definitely. I'm yeah, yeah, I like. Love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, big game. Like she, I probably, she wouldn't, so I well. probably wouldn't like her more than Mayel, but yeah, you, 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 you like, yeah. Mayel's your, Mayel's your lady. Even though the flash is kind of redundant in commander. I mean, he's got not it's redundant. Really it's, it, and it's unless just, you have it, plays on counter as well. It, yeah, I mean, it just doesn't feel great. I mean, you're going to be using her was, mainly for the haste, though. What was that freaking yeah, owl? Like, that haste is for, huge. What was that freaking owl that everyone like playing against in Commander? Which one? The one that has flash and it's like four mana, and then it's always four mana. Uh, it doesn't. It dur- didn't have dur- flash. Uh, it just dur- had dur- four mana. Do ready? Yeah, yeah do ready. Yeah, four yeah, mana. Yeah. Put it in the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do ready? Yeah, that was pretty. Yeah. That one's pretty hard. Um, yeah, I don't think this card's quite on that parallel for yeah. constructive for EDH. But for fun times, but it's a it's a big beefy man. It gives all your creatures haste. What a fun time command. Yeah. Also, fucking tr- good luck trying to beat this fucking thing in draft. Yeah, because yeah. it comes down to hits really fucking hard, really fucking fast. And then he lets his buddies hit fast. And then he lets his buddies hit fast. Like, this one, Sam. It's a pack one, pick one. It's a pack one, pick Easy. one. Yeah, Slam it down. <laughs> Slam it down. All right, next go. It's the Minotaur General. We have the Worthy. It's one a black and a red for a 2-2 legendary creature Minotaur Warrior. First strike. Other Minotaurs you control have first strike. As long as you have one or fewer cards in hand, Minotaurs you control get plus two, plus out. Good with first strike. And then whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, each player discards a card. I like it. That's yeah. sweet. Yeah. Solid for your... Uh, Minotaur EDH. Min- yes. Minotaur EDH decks. For all of you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all, all two of you. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, for constructed reason... Uh, for, not for, for draft reasons, let's, let's start a... Cause yeah, I've actually evaluated this. There's, there's zombie Minotaurs. In there's, there. there's, a there's, a there's a couple. So, I mean... And there's red Minotaurs, too. There, yeah, there, there, there's, there's, there's a few. Red. There's a few. It's, so, not, it's not like... An insane amount, like it's not like I tribal mean, supported like zombies are or something. Yeah, but I mean, even if on its own, it's a two-two first strike. If you have no, if you have one or fewer cards in hand, it's a four-two first strike. Yeah. And then whatever deals damage to a player, each player just curves. Denial of the hand. Yeah, yeah exactly. I um, mean, I, like I would it. probably play him. That's in great. Draft. I would. I, 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 I play him in draft even if I didn't have any other minotaurs. Yeah. it's obviously it scales with more minotaurs you have randomly. Well, like the minotaurs are just. Well, like, he doesn't get anything from Minotaurs. The other Minotaurs... Exactly, the other Minotaurs, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't first pick him, though. No, I, I don't I think he's quite that powerful. No. First of all, picking gold card early is awkward uh, in and yeah, of itself. Because yeah, yeah, it, it sort of commits you into two colors. Uh, I like him, uh, you know, pick three, four, five, something like that. Yeah, You're already yeah, in red, yeah. black. Yeah, I got the man. Um... Then you start taking Minotaurs slightly higher, oh, yeah. you know, you stuff, you stuff you like first that. first pick him last pack if you're in there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, <laughs> I randomly like, have well, nine Minotaurs <laughs> in my deck. <laughs> Either that or, like, I just have a really good aggressive strategy uh, yeah. where it's going to be a beefy first three, Yeah, There's yeah, just, just a, a lot four of power first striker it for three is good. good. Yeah. yeah, get him in, get him in. We got uh, enchantment. We got enchantment. 
Bounty of the Luxum. I remember this one. This one's kind of weird. Right, read it, read, weird boy. All right. <laughs> Get all the it's, text. It's, yeah. a, it's a blue, green, and two. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all flood counters from Bounty of Luxa. If no counters removed this way, put a flood counter on Bounty of Luxa and draw a card. Otherwise, add a colorless, a green, and blue to your mana pool. I mean, it's... I think just... Well, like every other turn, it's going to draw a card, and every other turn, it's going to give you three mana. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. This is a weird one. Yeah. You're right. It's a, it's a weird one to help, to evaluate it. Um, I mean... It might be a little slow in... Yeah. in Draft, like I get it. It's a sweet value card, but yeah. I don't but know. like, I'd be four mana. Face opening it. I wouldn't be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be happy. Unless like I might play it in my mana. deck. I mean, no, I'm no ramp happy. says it doesn't do anything till turn. Exactly. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The fact that it comes down and really doesn't and, have. And then it draws back. you an extra card on turn five, and then turn six it gives you mana. So. Turn six, you will have nine mana. Which, if you have something, if you big, have something retarded, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna play like Nissa, Nissa, <laughs> yeah. Turn six for ultimate times. Yeah, yeah you can uh, you can honestly manipulate this in a commander deck to make it like always ramp on your turn if you can keep putting uh, counters on it. I mm -hmm. believe. Yeah, it tracks up. So, yeah, yeah. As well, long as it, as long as, but like oh, yeah, it will always all remove all the counters. Yeah, so oh, does it? Really, oh, so okay. it doesn't work that way. Never mind. It. Yeah, um, yeah, be careful. Yeah, right. okay. I don't know. I, I think that's like I think you pro you you probably play it in your blue green decks, but you you hope it wheels because it probably will because no one's gonna want it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, Hypatia Vizier poisons. I love her. It's I, I do too. It's a mm -hmm. black green. Whenever Hypatia Vizier, it's kind of <laughs> Vizier poison deals combat damage to a player. You may put a minus one minus one counter on target creature. If you put one or more minus one minus one. One counters on a creature, create a one, one green, great token with that stuff. So, anyone play Theros, one, one death touches suck. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, suck for your opponent. Yeah. They're really good for you. They're yeah. basically removal They oh. suck to deal with. Yeah, they like, really no one, suck to deal with. No one wants to look at that one, one scorpion and be like, well, I have a five, five, but I don't want to trade with this one, yeah. one, for one. Especially when you're making a ton of them. Yeah. So, imagine the text of. Um, when a kill deals combat damage to a player, uh, put a minus one, minus one counter on something, is it going to be, is going to be like the least relevant ability on this card? Yeah, she's because who's going to let this fucking thing hit them? Oh, yeah. 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 Like, you're going to, you're going to make sure it does not hit you at all costs. Yeah. But the fact is, if you build your deck in a way, if you build your black green deck, it's going to be minus one, minus one, half the cards are going to say put minus okay. one, minus one counters on anything. Yeah. Even if it's your own thing, you still get one, one death touchers. Yeah. And you can go infinite with the hippos also with this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you got two ways. Oh, go no. Or do you want to go snake? Oh, Which one do you want all oh, of them? Oh, <laughs> boy. I have all of them. <laughs> Jeez so good. Louise. What a nutso deck. Why would you guys do this, well, Wizards? They don't see it. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't see it. They don't, no, they they don't, don't see it. They really don't. You guys got to see it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I love that card. Uh, that's a gold card I'd, I'd consider first picking because, A, a Unlike Minotaurs, uh, yes. it's black green is legitimate archetype. Mm -hmm. Black green yeah, minus one minus one counters is heavily supported. Really strong, mm -hmm. even uh, self or just giving out. Yeah, yeah exactly. Really good. Yeah, yeah, a lot of your black and green cards just do that. Um, yeah, so all of it. Next one's really good with embalm, I think. Yeah, embalm the blue white blue white gem. Yeah, this year of knock tahamon Pacarakamos. Pacarakamos is a Hydra, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that's basically So a he's two mana, white, blue for a 2 2. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature token you control gets plus one, plus one until end of turn and can't be blocked this turn. Embalm any opponents for a 3 in white and blue. Uh, well, unless you're doing a freaking. The warrior with vigilance or a sneak or a scare, like you're gonna probably be using this effect on uh, embalm creatures. Embalm creatures, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's a couple things that make tokens other than embalm. Uh, there's the the white flash make two one ones. Yep. Um, there's a few other effects. And split card. Uh, yeah, so your split card. There's your your scarab thing. There's a few things, but yes, this is your embalm. Like camel, this camel is a, makes it. Yeah, cam camel, camel does it. Camel, camel, camel tribal. What was I thinking? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this is this is your embalm, but this is your this is your champ. Uh, yeah, good card. This is white blue. This is a card that you I I would first pick it. Yeah, and push hard. Push hard for just grab all the embalm creatures. 
I'm watching. And bottom creatures are going to be relatively high picks. Oh yeah. So absolutely. Take take them accordingly. Take them especially. Um, take them if you have like this card in your deck. Yeah. Like prioritize them. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's okay. sweet. Yeah. There you go. I've heard a lot about this a- card in standard. Uh, uh, Enigma Drake. I would say he's not very good in draft. Probably. He's probably fine. Yeah, uh, he's probably like one, one, he's good one blue cycle. and red, uh, flying star four X four. Enigma Drake's power is equal to number of instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard. So even if he is like two more, yeah, three minutes, two more, five. What was it? There was another one Good from that's like uh, the game crash kind of. It was like an is it Camara that kind of had the same thing going for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember what's that going one was. I think it was an X three or an X two, yeah, and this but, one's an X uh, four. So that's. Is, it makes it infinitely better. Yeah, it makes it way better. Um, mm-hmm. Again, but with cycling, fly. yeah, with cycling with uh, with cycling in this format, uh, yeah. a lot of your instant sources is going to go into the graveyard. Yeah, probably strong. And yeah, I'd imagine it's not that hard to manifest this into a four four flyer. Probably. And at that point, it's like retarded good. Yeah. So if you have this this sweet blue red spells deck, uh, I'm in. If you have like just a regular blue red blue red oh, like aggro or control deck. Almost as good as oh. a four four indestructible yeah, yeah, yeah. angel. Almost as good. <laughs> What's that? It's the four four flying indestructible angel. Yeah, almost. I mean, it's close. Cool. It's close. It's almost. It, it doesn't have indestructible. It had indestructible. <laughs> yeah, it was a hanging. So solid card again. Your blue red deck is, is likely to want it. Um, yeah. So yeah, good card. I love this one. Um, Wayward servant, white and a black for a two two. So two mana two two zombie. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control. Each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. All star in EDH. Yeah, go with embalm. Go with. Go with embalm. Go with There's a jungle. fuck ton of zombies in this format. Um, yeah. Liliana's in the format. You know, Liliana is, a, is is in is, is in this format. Does Liliana makes zombies. Just because turns things into she a zombie. She has two makes abilities so that make zombies. So many zombies. I know, right? Her plus so her plus makes a zombie, and then her minus brings back a creature from the graveyard and makes it a zombie. So amazing. Yeah. yeah. Ten yeah. out of ten would play. Ten out of ten would play. Cool. This card seems like you're. You're a super strong payoff for going white black zombies. Absolutely. Like, now it's God, every time. Stockpile. It's gonna be awkward to open it early though, because you're gonna want it so bad, and go into it great. so bad, but you kind of have to wait until you're there. Yeah, I mean, I would. Okay, knowing me, I'll force it. Uh, yeah, force the fuck out of it because I'm an Orzov guy, and, and that, not, that's how we do. It's not gonna be hard to get zombies, and embalm's gonna be the hardest thing to get. Zombies, I don't think. It's yeah, zombies, hard. zombies gonna be less hard to get. Yeah. You know, embalms are zombies. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine this guy is going to be a relatively high pick and limited because, yeah, you know, the, the payoff, yeah. payoff, payoff is real. Payoff, payoff, payoff is good. Next guy, this, this, this is another payoff that's also super real. Two, a green and white. Ah, crop champion. He's, um, he's riding a freaking elephant horse. Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> <laughs> that looks epic. That yeah, is sweet. It's pretty, it's pretty powerful, yeah. Uh, it's uh, two, a green and white for a 4-4 four, four human warrior. You may exert it as it attacks. When you do, untap all other creatures you control. Super strong. So you're exert, <laughs> exert Lord. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Four mana, four fours, fucking a great rate. If anyone knows about Pima Outrider, knows that. Yes. Uh, exert Tribal is going to be a strong archetype, I think. Untapping your creatures we've already mentioned is very powerful. Not as good as Lox and Unsmiter. Not as good as Lox and Unsmiter. I forgot what his second effect did. If, if, you, had dis- if, if you had to discard it and put it directly into play, and it was uncountable. Oh, okay. He was, he was I actually did that, that effect once really in the sample. It was amazing. Oof. People were sad. Well, I bet they fucking were. Even though with the synergies in this set, it seems like this is stronger. Probably. It's probably Maybe, stronger. Yeah, probably. It? Although it does, the Lox and Unsmiter cost three. The Lox and yeah, the other I mean, it was vanilla. Awesome. Yeah, and this guy isn't vanilla, but yeah, Lux, Lux is he's he's a, he's he's a constructed dude. Yeah, he's, he's a constructed dude. This is a sweet guy. uncommon. Your green white deck is gonna want it right. absolutely. Even if you don't have any other fucking desert creatures, giving all your other creatures pseudo vigilance sometimes, and just having a four mana four four in your deck is great. And it also yeah. triggered the tap effects. It also does. I would imagine it's I'll a chariot. This. This, this is the card I'll grab. Ken, we're charioteer. That might be, a, a, you know, maybe not the best pick. I'd probably force this. Yeah, I, I mean, probably, look, probably, yeah, he yes, is, he's a three that's, mana. That's my weak spot. Green red. Yeah. Uh, with so, trample and get other creatures you have trample. All right, so three mana, three three trample. This is Ken Red charioteer. Uh, yeah, other cre- so everything is trample that you control. And, and, it's and, green, and there's a lot of big creatures in green. Yeah, yeah. three mana, three three again is is a good rate. 
Uh, I forgot you, everything about red, so. You, you get like that two yeah. mana four or something. There, there's a big, there's a big. You also got a two mana four three discard a card that's really exactly. Good. You that's curve that and then that, and then you get a four three chain player and a three three. That seems, that seems good. You have a lot of beef on board. Yeah, uh, aggro beef. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Which is the greatest. No, right. solid card, solid card. I not, just not remember much something. Jafar is a vizier. Oh, is Jafar in this set? Yes. Okay. He's <laughs> we'll next. find him. He's he, there he is. The beetle. <laughs> the beetle. <laughs> no, I know right. you. <laughs> um, all right. Honored Crop Captain. It's a red and a white for a human warrior 3 2. So, two men 3 2, pretty much where red white wants to be. Aggro as fuck. Great. Whenever it attacks, other attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. So, battle cry. It's your Boros creature. It's, it's a, it's a it. 3 2 battle cry. Oh, yeah. What's up? Note, in Two Headed Giant, it doesn't say attacking creatures you control. Oh, it says attacking creatures. Uh -huh. So your Sweet partner aggro. gets in on this action, homie. Uh -huh. question, yeah, question, it's important really. question. What's up, boys? What's a crowd captain? What's a crowd captain? Uh, this, this card. All right, let me look at <laughs> while you guys actually do more He's useful the things. Of the now, now it's Jafar. Come on. Uh, Decimator Beetle. <laughs> uh, five mana, three in black, black and a green for four or five... Insect. When it enters the battlefield, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature you control. Whenever this card attacks, remove a minus one, minus one counter from a creature you control and put it on some other fucking creature an opponent controls. Oh my God. This is your payoff. Here's your big man. Yeah, this like, is great. You put, yeah, it, you, mm, it's, it's a big boy, like, He's a, all, all your shit is, minus, is like gonna get bigger and all their shit's gonna get smaller every time it attacks. It's a five minute four five is likely gonna survive the combat. You're probably gonna do this several times over the course of the game. This is something you force. Yeah, again, I, I can definitely if, see if you this open being this, forcer. if you open this and your rare isn't great, and you just you're like, hey, I want to do black green this this yeah, time. Sure. Slam and go with that. Because right? it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a super it's a, solid payoff. It's a bomb removal in one card. Exactly. Yeah. Sweet. Hundred percent. So, I like it. So yeah. so apparently. Crab Captain is not an actual thing because like half of them are just things that don't exist and others just slinks to this card. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Alright, good stuff. See, I told you. Was that card? Yeah, that yeah, don't, Why didn't you believe me? I don't believe <laughs> anyone. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. So next one. Or it could be this guy. guy. It could be, whoa. Captain Crab. Why, why are you, what is this? <laughs> why'd you, why'd you link me to a fetish website, Brandon? <laughs> That's what, as Captain Crab. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whip. I mean, he, he he legitimately showed me a picture of a tied up lady. She wasn't. She didn't look like she was having a good time. Was oh, it well. alive? was it alive? Was it live? Was it was no, was no, it no, alive? Was it a video like a live video. It uh, it's to be determined. I don't know. It was a picture. Well, he, I, I, yeah, I know, right? Some people are into that. Some people are into it. I like yeah. to be bound. It happens. <laughs> All right, Avon Wind Guide, four mana, two and two, a white and a blue, for a two three flying vigilance bird warrior. Creature tokens you control have flying and vigilance. Your embalmed man is is, is big embalmed man. Flying and vigilance. And then it, it in and of itself has embalmed for six. Four, two, four, four white and blue. So four mana two three flying vigilance is a good rate on its own. The static effect is very good. And embalm is also really good. There's so insane. many skins. The card's really good. Once again, the blue white uncommon, among the best ones, maybe the best one. Yeah, uh, it depends on how many embalmed creatures you're I Again, I imagine these are going to be pretty high picks. No, no, yeah. But flying is a fucking incredible I mean, you keyword. Can, you can even get a bunch of your little 1 1 vigilant. Well, they're already going to be vigilant, but they're going to be flying now. Gonna, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're going to be lingering there's souls. A couple of them. There's, yeah, yeah. They're going to be lingering so souls, gross. which is hard. Yeah. Wizards. Guys, yeah. This big is man is one. big. Yeah. Big game. Big man is big, bro. If you want to go white blue, this is your guy. That's impressive. Yeah, impressive. I love this card, too. Weaver of Currents. One, a green to blue for a 2-2. Two, two. Tap, add two colorless men to your mana pool. Ramp so twice. Ramp twice. So, I like it. I like it. let's see. Four or five. So you have six mana on turn four? Yeah. That's a big. That's big. Back and play most like, you can play your Angler exactly. Drake on turn four. If you're grabbing your, four your four big four, monsters. Your four, your four, four, four flyer that bounces across. Back and play most play. things on turn four. Yeah, yeah. Most of your set's going to be on turn four. I really like that's, it. That's... Yeah, this is exactly what your blue green deck wants. Pretty Big amazing. man monsters. Also, Grab all what is she doing in that picture? She's uh, weaving. We is she weaving with the blue stuff? She's weaving with currents. I see what she did there. Uh -huh. she's, <laughs> she's making Japanese letters. All right, next turn. Uh, 
We're Blue and a black for a 1 3. Shadow Storm Vizier. Cool name. Yeah, it is. Cool. A court. Cool. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, art. You're, you're, you're going to sell me on, on this art oh, by, by the top of the uh, Two mana, one, three, flyer. Uh, when you cycle or discard a card, it gets plus one, plus one. Total. There's your payoff for cycling. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's L payoff for cycling. Is that yeah, yeah. probably not the best payoff for cycling? I'd nice. imagine the minus one, minus one counter thing is probably better for an uncommon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or like your Drake Havens and, and like, oh, yeah. but it is a I super like solid game. better than this, but it's still sweet. You don't, you don't like Drake Haven better than this? No, no, I like Drake Haven better than this. Oh, I definitely but like yeah, Drake Haven better yeah, than this. Yeah. Yeah. This, this card's fine. Is a two mana one three flyer? Oh, fine. Okay. Yeah, what's well, fine on its own? Yeah. Uh, I, like two, I like two mana one three flyers. It blocks everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like for the for the converted mana cost. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. It does not block creatures with shadow, though. No. It doesn't block creatures with shadow, and it doesn't trade favorably with 4 4 flying in a circle. Yeah. It, is it does it's sacrifice cool. itself to um, the black guy, Bantu. Yeah, and you drink for one. Yes. Yeah. We, we love Bantu. We love Bantu. Bantu's solid. Bantu's, Bantu's good card limited. Yeah, good card. I'd say among your not as great gold two drop or you know, yeah, yeah gold cards, fantastic. it's 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 not fantastic, but super solid. I play it in all my blue black decks. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you have a cycling deck, sometimes it's gonna attack as a three four three three six flyer. It's gonna, so it's gonna for two many you can't beat it. Yeah. Seven. One more gold card. One more gold card, and then we're on to artifacts. Uh Merciless Javelin Ear. It's a Minotaur. It is a Minotaur. It's a good one, too. Uh, two, a black and a red. For a Minotaur Warrior, that's a 4-2. Pay two and discard a card. Put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. That creature can't block this turn. So it's... it's solid. Yeah, so it, it turns all your excess lands or irrelevant spells or into... Hydra. Yeah, or your... Or your uh, ah. Ha ha ha, no. Full, <laughs> John. Full yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, turns him into uh, uh, kind of removal spells, but like also the can't kind of block parts really good. Yeah, this is block. aggro as fuck. It is. Like, it, it's a big game. You're trading resources in hand for damage in play. Yep. Like, Top decking lands are fine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 We're fine with this. hundred percent. Don't worry about floods. Right. Scar- Super Drake, solid card. Mage all over it is exactly what effect the black red wants. Plus, a lot of cards that trigger when you have like one or fewer cards in hand. So this card oh, yeah, all the this, bullshit. This guy's um, like, let's, 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 yeah, let's, let's party, baby. This is part of what we All right, do. that's the last of the gold shit. Amazing. So or yeah. to... Love the gold. The, Are we going the, straight to the artifacts? Yeah, straight into artifacts. Oh, wait, I'm not ready, though. I need, a, I need to go do makeup or something. You go do makeup? Yeah. Okay, go do makeup. You got Are you back from makeup? <laughs> yes. All right, then. We're done with makeup. Pyramid of the Pantheon. One mana artifact. Pay two, add one mana of any color to your mana pool and put a brick counter on it. Uh, and then tap, add three mana of any one color to your mana pool. Activate with this ability if there are only three or more brick counters on Pyramid of the Pantheon. Seems really good with proliferate. Seems really good with proliferate. Yeah. I gotta imagine it's pretty slow down limited. Yeah, it's not great in limited. Yeah. It's great for commander though. Great for com- yeah, commander's gonna be great. It's I mean this is a fucking gilded lotus for one mana, oh, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Gotta work a little bit, but that's usually. Gotta work a little bit, but like yes. probably it might I mean I mean it attracts uh if you, if you put <laughs> you put exactly one counter on it. Yeah, you're good. And then you you just did it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's that is it tracks will do the rest, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super solid card for constructed. Not great and limited, a little slow, clunky, doesn't really do anything. Uh, it ramps eventually, but there's a lot of mana you got to put into it. It, all, yeah. all it right is mana fixing if you're playing like five colors. That's true. That's true. It is. It is. It is like awkward mana fixing. You're right. You're right. Uh, uh, mana fixing. Was on the next card, I wouldn't take this high. Uh, wheel, this, this right. wheel it if you if you have to for your constructed decks. Can I take this one? Oh yeah, dude. I love this card. Uh, Throne of the God Pharaohs. It's two colorless for a legendary artifact. At the beginning of the end step, each opponent loses life equal to the number of tapped creatures you control. Yeah. Like first of all, in in, in draft, it's it's or draft limited. It's your uh, payoff for exerting and not yeah. vigilance doing the yeah. thing. No matter what, you're still getting value off of it. Mm-hmm. Like, and I actually think this might see some constructive play. I mean, I could definitely I, see I it in see standard. It. I can see it. But I'm actually I, my Revolt Zoo deck. I've been thinking about the card. Oh, yeah? I'm not positive Ooh. yet, but I'm Ooh. thinking about it. This, All this right, so is super good in EVH and two-headed giant. And two-headed giant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's each opponent. Oh, it's I, opponent. I think it's good across all formats. What about uh, in, like, a green deck with a bunch of creatures and a Crypt of Yes, absolutely. Because then you just, like, I get like value. And yeah, just, exactly. You're getting double value. You're getting yeah, double yeah, value. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. God, yeah. it's so good. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, I'm I, in. I love the card, dude. The cards. The I like cards the card. I think it's in your in your aggro decks is going to be a pretty high pick because it's it's just straight fucking burn to the doom. I'm eventually just going to die to it. I'm yeah. slamming first this. Every yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, this yeah. is my strategy. Yeah, you you, this you, is my you home. like the aggro decks. Yeah, I do. yeah, I do. that's your that's it's your dream. My home. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oracle's vault. All right. Exile the top card for two mana and tap or it's four mana to play. Mm-hmm. Two mana and tap. Exile the top card of your library and on the turn you may play that card. Put a brick counter. And then tap, exile the top card of your library until on a turn you may play that card without paying a spin of Sex base is only. So, I mean, I so it, it's, 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 it's a slow card, but it is card advantage. Yeah. Um, if you're in the market for like a control deck that's in the market, like if you're in the market for, for slow, uh, like a slow win condition in the control deck, just having access to way more cards is, is probably worth it. Um, once again, I'd say uh, once again. yeah. Once again, this is way. I think this is more of a constructed card than a limited card. Yeah. Um Because again, proliferate and all sorts of other bullshit that you can do with this. Plus, you can likely put in bigger fucking things than you know your your five five for five oh, yeah. or whatever. Like for its for its second tab ability, this card's extremely awkward. And uh, I want to. Yeah, I agree with that because it costs four and then two to activate it the first yeah. time. So you're talking about six mana. In total to activate, then you still have to pay for the card, yeah, yeah. and you got to do that two other times even to get get the real ability. I mean, red usually lets you do that passively through like attacking with a creature or paying one or, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to work for it. You got to work for it. But it pays off at the end. It mm-hmm. really does. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, but it's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't take that card. So, so I want to do this next one. Go for it. Uh, skate to the afterlife. It's three mana. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, you gain one life, and you may draw a card. If you do, discard. That effect's pretty good. The second part? Yeah. Two mana tap, sacrifice gate to the afterlife, search your graveyard hand and or library for a card named God Pharaoh's Gift and put it in the battlefield. If you search your library for this way, shuffle with Activate this ability only if there are six or more creature cards. So what card is God Pharaoh's Gift? Have we not covered it yet? Or is it problem? in the format? I have no clue. We're going to look it up because... I was I'll hoping one of you two fuckers knew. I, 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 and I'm gonna look it up so you don't have to. Leave okay. it. it sounds yeah, like yeah. a white card. I'm going white. I'm looking. It's. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it'd be an artifact. The order of the god. The god pharaoh is Bolas. You know that, right? What's that? The god pharaoh is Nicol Bolas. Okay. So okay. Yeah. So it wouldn't be white. It probably wouldn't be white. <laughs> Although I think the gods are all under Bolas's like thumb. Okay. So it's a Grixis card. All we gotta do is look for a Grixis. Card. Yeah. All we gotta do is look at three <laughs> different colors or Google. <laughs> Um, it's only there is there. no card with the name God's Hair's Gift, so we expect this in the next set. Next set. Uh, so, gotcha. one, that part doesn't have anything to do. T- we got nothing to say about this. The part. third yeah. part is that's a very Yu Gi Oh effect of like, you can only do this in these certain conditions, and you have to find this specific card. Okay, so I've heard this a lot. <laughs> of. Card, the card in this format reminds me of Yu Gi Oh card. <laughs> and. The fucking in, uh, inventions, or whatever they're called in this set, uh, masterpieces, look like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They do. Apparently, Yu-Gi-Oh is just Egypt, right? Yeah, like, I, I like, like there's a similarity there that, that can't be denied, and apparently, I don't know, uh, you know what? I mean, I think this, this set is very fun, but stop comparing it to Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, no, Yu-Gi-Oh no, is actually a very of, poorly... Some Design. of the cards are very poorly designed, and I'm not saying that's that's actually pretty well written. Mm-hmm. Then, but like, you can't get like five different rulings from that oh, way. God. Yeah. Like a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards can, but like, there, a lot of Magic cards don't have the search for this specific card. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And they've been doing that a lot. Like, like the last one was the Nibolus, which we like, still don't have Bolas. Yeah, like the Bolas is next set. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I mean, but, okay. so the operative question for the purpose of this video is that would you play this effect for just the plus plus the first ability? Probably. non taking creature dies, gain one life, draw a card, and discard a card? Uh, definitely. For three mana? Yeah. Yeah, I could, I, I could yeah, see I it make all your cards better. Yeah. You, you get a loot, you get and a five more mana. And all your cards too, because is it your control or is yeah, it your creature? Yeah, it's creatures? your control. Uh, it's your control. Never mind, I'm wrong. I'd, I'd say this is... Um, an okay card mm-hmm. in draft, um, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't like look to take it early and play it. I'd probably play it if I get it late. Uh, these type of effects don't tend to, to go late in our game store because they're kind of splashy. 
Um, but you know what? So I'm, 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 what I'm saying is I'm unlikely to play with this card very often. Yeah, me too. Because I'm it's not common that's probably going to go higher than it ought to. Yeah. So and or higher than I'm willing to pick it. Um, it yeah. Feels, it feels like a control card. Yeah, it's definitely a control card. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Yep. All right. Let's uh, next one. We're on to the monuments. Oh, Catcher's Monument. Three mana. Uh, legendary artifact. White creature spells you, you cast cost one less to cast. And whenever you cast a creature spell in general, cast a... Or, uh, cast. Create, create a 1-1 one, one one white warrior, warrior token, token with, with vigilance. vigilance. Okay, so whenever you cast a creature spell, you, know, you get a 1-1. One, one. So it makes all of your cards better. These I like these monuments fair amount. Yeah, yeah, I like all of them. Even, yeah, even uh, um, the, the white creature spells you cast cost one less. I mean, that, that's a solid ability. And the the real kicker is whenever you cast any creature spell, the second effect because mm. this, the second effect is where your money is. Mm. Yeah. Um, the white the white spells cost one less. It's going to be relevant in all likelihood, but not as relevant as every turn I make a one one oh, for yeah. free. I mean, there's yeah. a reason why these are legendary artifacts. Yeah, you don't want them overwhelming. These are ridiculous. Yeah, you don't want them overwhelming. The, the draft. card's so sweet. Mm -hmm. You just gotta pick up all five of them in the freaking <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, assemble Yu Gi Oh whatever the fuck that was. What was it called, Brandon? Voltron? Exodia? Yeah, it was! <laughs> Assemble Voltron Exodia. <laughs> That's not fair to compare because Exodia automatically wins a game when you have both five Well, so this one is this. Yeah. You, you see it in the Oracle text. Uh, the Oracle text. 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 Kev, Kef, Kefne, Kefnet. Kefnet! Kefnet's money. Got, okay, got, so okay, Catcher's Mommy is relatively high pick. I'd say, I'd say it's pretty high pick. I like it too. Um, Kefnet's Mommy mate. Uh, this is the blue version. Um, blue creature spells cost one less to cast, cost three. All these creatures cost three and make the appropriate color cost one less. Um, Solid. Whenever you cast a creature spell, target creature and opponent controls does not untap during its controls next untap step. Super strong. Super strong. I do think it is probably the worst amongst all these, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Uh, because it doesn't tap the it creature. Doesn't tap it doesn't automatically have an effect like a lot of these cards do. Yeah. Um, but three and, mana and just to make blue spells one less. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is blue creature spells. It is. It is. But I still like that. But making your big old flying things cost one less, like yeah. uh, that's a big game. And it's limited. Like that's the main thing that's going to matter for the most part. Though sometimes you go the the straight spell route. Well, sure. Spell right. Route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it feels like it, no matter what you're, you're gonna, gonna, gonna have, have a solid deck. amount of creatures in your deck. Absolutely. Uh, next one. I really like this one. This one showed off yeah. super hard in the, the pre-pre release. Bantu's Monument. Yeah. A lot uh, of people pushing that in Two Red a Giant again. Mm -hmm. Two Red a Giant. It's time. Three mana, all your black creature spells cost one less, i.k.a. the best color. Woo. Whenever you cast a creature spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. <laughs> this card that, like, okay, so in round one, it, the, the one person played a Bantu's Monument, and the other person played a Bantu's Monument. And then. They both just sat there and played creature spell after creature spell, and they're both like sixteen because like <laughs> they go to, like sixteen go down to thirteen, go back up to sixteen, That's like the game which would not fucking end ever. And then in the second game, the girl played it and just dealt like eight damage to the opponent and killed him, and like gained eight life. That seems really so. Good. It was it was really strong there. And you got a lot of those effects in black, and especially if you go black white zombies with the black white zombie, yeah, you win that race. Black white white <laughs> zombies, yeah, yeah like, exactly. Yeah, do this a lot yeah. more. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Black has a fair amount of burn in this set. Like it is, it is some reach. Like yeah. it can get there. I like it. Mm -hmm. We got a Ronus monument. Yep. Green creature spells you cast cost one less to cast. That's Whenever probably cast, the best of that ability. Whenever yeah. you yeah. cast a creature spell, a target creature control gets plus two, plus two again. Also fucking really strong. Yeah. <laughs> that's so good. Any of any creature you draw get like uh, that's so good. That's probably your best monument mm -hmm. in my opinion. Um yeah. you need a creature yeah. for the second part to be all over, but Jesus Christ, if it is like 5-4 haste. 5-4, yeah, 5-4 haste. Seven, I'll give my guy a, yeah, seven bear. Also calls three. Uh, three mana? Yeah, well, it goes three to four, so it curves perfectly. Well, it also costs one less. Cause it's a oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, no. leave up your hexproof. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's so good. Yeah, that's so, legit. These are so good question. artifacts. Yeah, these are really good artifacts. I'd say the green one's so the best question, one. question, real quick. Right. So, for multicolored creature, if you have two different monuments, does that mean... Uh, I think it is. I think it costs two less. Okay. Right. If you have both monuments in play, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, uh, Hazard's right. Monuments for three. Mm-hmm. Red creatures cost one less, of course, and when you play a creature card, you loot. Loot. Yeah, loot's good. Is it loot or rummage? Uh, it's discard a card, then if you do draw a card. Okay, it's so it's rummage. Yeah. Um, this effect is also really strong. You're going to you're gonna discard your lands and find more gas. Uh, again, this is probably... A, that and the blue one are probably the worst ones of yeah, all I think, stuff. I think this one's worse than the blue one. Probably. Might be. It might yeah. be. Uh, round about. Round about. Um, I mean, it is a draw a card. It, it is draw a card. Uh, you don't it, get to draw a card first. Yeah, so it'd be way better if you drew a card yeah, first. Yeah, if you drew a card, card first, first yeah. then the blue one definitely be Because there's no guarantee that the card you draw is going to be worse than the yeah, card yeah. you discard. And then in aggro, you, sometimes you might be out of gas completely, you know, and hope for, hope for land to ditch, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's an awkward card. Yeah, yeah, it could be awkward. Plus, most of your red creatures are going to be relatively one of the cheap to cast anyway. Oh, yeah. So, so don't worry about the that, that might be your worst one. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I still think it's playable. Yeah, probably not as not as playable as the other ones. The other ones are pretty high picks, um, especially the green and uh, the green, black, and white are clearly heads and shoulders above. I think mm-hmm. the rest of them. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, like the the blue and the red are playable, fine cards. Yeah. I love it how it's like they're so color conditionals. Like they usually are have color conditions on these yeah. types of artifacts, but then it's like you cast any creature. any creature. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, uh, all right. Yeah, uh, that I, seems good. Yeah, it's way better when I found out that because I thought it was because yeah, um, all these cards are, Maybe. but not this one. So, so edifice of authority. Yep. Uh, three mana, mm-hmm. one in tap. Target creature can't attack this turn. Put a brick counter on it. Uh, one and tap until your next turn. Target creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Activated only if you have three or more brick counters. Uh, I'd say it's pretty strong. This card, this card did a lot of work at the pre-release. You know what it stopped? What's that? Unfortunately, it stopped four mana, four four angel. white angel in the The only it was, thing. The only can answer. Do. It's the only answer. It's the only possible. Not that exile target. No 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 fuck that fuck that no 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 no. no. <laughs> No, 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 no. We have censors for that. Because we already censored that. We already censored that. <laughs> this one was harder to censor. Cost, it cost less. That's true. It's, it's, it, was too, it was too rough. This, yeah, this card was really good. Um, I mean, it's essentially a tapper. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. And then it's a really good tapper. Yeah. yeah. Like, because it, it's weird because you go from activating on their turn to activating on your turn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you insane. activate on your turn and then they can't do anything at all on either of their turns. Really Can't attack or block. Nothing. Your card doesn't exist anymore. I mean, it's more expensive than Pacification Array, but it's uh, it's more cheap, expensive, cheaper to activate. Yeah, cheaper to activate. So you're probably paying around about the same amount of total mm-hmm. mana through the course. Yeah. Though tapping does have the added benefit of like if you do it on their turn during their attack phase, and then you they still can't do anything on your phase. Yeah. But this well, also it, does more. That, that does that does it if you have three or more counters. Right? It does that same thing. Yeah. Well, because you well you do it on until your, turn. your next turn. Yeah, you do it on your turn. Yeah, and then they can't you, your tag. They can't block, and then they can't attack you back. I and then you do it, it again on your turn. I did the thing where I didn't read it properly. It's okay, boy. Okay. Next up. Yeah, next up. We got the embalmer's tools for two mana. Activate abilities of creature card in your graveyard. Cost one less to activate. Tap and untap zombie control. Target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Mill strategy. So, mill strategy. So it's mill strategy and it's good with embalm. It's good with embalm, but I'm not sure. I, unless you have like the nuts of embalm deck, I don't know yeah. if this card does enough to, to warn a spot in your deck. Um, I, I like it in zombie tribal just because if you go wide and you get in that stall situation. It is, it is an alternate win condition. You can win. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I, if, if I'm. Okay, so in that scenario, I'd say that's a solid sideboard card yeah. for that exact. For like, you already have a zombie deck. Um. If but, like, the opponent's seven. really good at grinding you out and, like, stalling the board up. You sign into this, and then you have a real win condition. Like, that's that's going to end the game pretty quickly. I think if it's if you got the nuts, like the embalmed zombies deck... Yeah, if you have the nuts, then this probably, card is good. You probably just grab it up. That's I mentioned the nuts good. embalmed deck is going to be hard to get down. It is. Because that's everyone's that's fighting for this. They're all pretty good. Absolutely. They're Everybody all going to be high. Everyone loves zombies, and everyone loves embalmed creatures, because they're just all going to be high so good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's this one? All right, Watchers of the Dead. Two colorless for a 2-2. Exile Watchers of the Dead. Each opponent chooses two cards in his or her graveyard and exiles the rest. So it's a bad Tormine Crypt for everyone. If, yep. you, if you need a 2-2, play it. Sometimes you need a 2-2. If, if you need yeah, if you need the curve, yeah. take it. 
Yeah, I think it, I think it's. I mean, it's probably not a great graveyard. Heat hoser. It's um, not great because they're gonna pick the two. They're gonna pick their two relevant cards. They're gonna pick the two bomb that, guards or two aftermath yeah, guards yeah. or whatever. I'll choose that four mana. You know, bring out a six six. We'll keep. We'll keep that. Yeah, one. we'll keep that one right there. Unless hey. we're unless we're playing that guy who uses his whole graveyard, Richard. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, like, yeah, that's true. Where he has an infinite combo lockdown of that, that can't be interacted with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Without like graveyard hate, then oh yeah, yeah, it's not going to do a whole lot. Yeah. But it is a two mana two two. It's a two mana two two. I'd play it as a two mana two two in my aggressive decks and draft. Bearcat. Otherwise, man, it's a bear cat. It's a bear cat. Okay, so the Luxa River Shrine. What's it does? It's three mana for one mana. You gain one life. Put a brick counter on it. Another brick counter one, and then you tap it and you gain two life if you have enough. That card seems fucking trash. Uh, it's yeah. not great. I mean. <laughs> You have to work to gain two life per turn. Yeah. No thanks. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. It, like it, it, it's it's way too ma way, way too mana intensive for for me to do anything. Like if it was like gain five life per turn on the brick counters, sure. Because that's gonna be really hard to beat. But not not for not for two life. That's yeah. just not good enough. You be in that Let spot me you know like the other ones like, who lock it, down I a creature. Play this big creature. I, I yeah. Did so my like, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's just gonna take us. There, there is one that. Like locks down a creature. There's one that like freaking killed yeah. Lotus, and then there's that guy who kills exactly. <laughs> Great gains in amount of life. So three, four, five, six. So six total mana to gain three life, and then you can pay two. No, I'm sorry. Then you can start tapping it to gain two life. Yeah, and that's the worst thing is that you have to wait. <laughs> exactly, you have to wait three turns. If there was a synergy with life gain, I, I might be for it. If there was like, yeah, if there was like a win if you gain life, life put a counter on it. The camel will add a counter it'll, it'll to it. It'll be all right, but because there's no real synergy with this, not great. Not great. All right, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> like, you must the, take it yeah. <laughs> the broken camel. Yeah. The broken camel is not broken enough. It doesn't even do it on curve. Yeah. Because you have to you have to play this for three, and then on turn four when you would play your camel, you have to pay one to fucking gain one life to even put a counter on it. Exactly. And then you can pay your camel on turn five. That's no. This is the camel side you could of put. But Sam, you could put a on turn five. You could put another brick counter on it and make it three brick counters. Now on we're turn five. in. Now we're in. What was I thinking? Well, actually, I think this card, this next card, is sweet for Camel Tribal because I want to see a camel hold a sword. <laughs> That's why. Hold Kokopesh. That's how Co it's pronounced. Kokopesh. Kokopuffs. Hold Kokopuffs. Kokopesh. One mana and uh, artifact Let's equipment. See. Equipped creature gets plus one plus one. Equipped for one. Super solid. I play pretty great, much every deck. Great card. Yeah. No, oh, and not much to say. Is not, yeah, not much doing with this one. It's one, a, one cost equipments that costs one to equip. Generally, pretty strong. It does anything at all. It's a freaking sword. sword. No. Exactly, it's a sword. And then, and then we got lands. Then we got lands. So we're gonna do those all in a cycle. Um, the cycling lands. The the um, let's see, irrigated farmland, fetid pool, 